Hello folks and welcome back. Now hopefully at this point you've watched the panorama introduction video and learned how to create a 360 degree panoramic image in SU Podium, which is what you see on the screen right now. And so the next step in the process is to take this 360 degree render and convert it into an interactive panorama VR presentation. So you have a few options for converting the EQ image into interactive content and then sharing it with clients and colleagues, but the easiest and definitely the recommended way is to upload it to the Podium Panorama server, which is what we'll spend the rest of this video going through for the most part. But you can also convert the images manually in Podium Image Editor and then host it on a website. Uh, you can embed them on Facebook now. Facebook does support 360 degree content. Um, or you can email or share the files directly. But we'll spend the rest of this video going through the Panorama server since that is the, the most straightforward and definitely the most versatile way. Uh, and then I'll break the other three options off into their own videos for people that want to you know, pursue those alternative routes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the web address of the Panorama server is www.panopdm.com. So switch over to your browser and go to that link and you'll see a login screen that looks exactly like this. And then go ahead and click New User Register here. And it's going to ask you for a username, email, and password. And the reason we need you to set up an account is because your Pano server profile page is where you'll access all your 360 degree Panos in the future. Um, once you log in, it gives you an account page that you can organize your images from. Um, and also, it generates a discrete URL for every image that you upload that you can share later on. So go ahead and create a new account, and I'm just going to log in with a test account. And we'll take a look at how to use the platform. OK, great. So once you've logged in, you should see a screen like this. This is your account page. Now, there are two different ways to upload panorama images to the server. The first is from the web platform, which is what we're looking at right now. And the second way is to upload the image directly from Podium Image Editor right after you finish rendering it. We'll take a look at Podium Image Editor in a second, but first we're going to go through uploading directly from the web platform and explore the rest of the functions here. Now, before we upload a panorama image, we just want to create a category for it to keep our account page organized. So the category controls are down here in the bottom left, add, remove, and rename. I'm just going to click add, type a name, we'll say kitchens, click OK, and it's going to put that right up here in the category list. You'll see that there's already one default category up here from PIE. Any image that you upload directly from Podium Image Editor is going to go to the from PIE folder unless you specify a specific category when you're uploading. Uh, you'll see later on that there is a slot to specify a category, but if you leave it blank, it's going to go to the default PIE folder. And so with that taken care of, let's go ahead and upload a panorama. Um, so before I click the Upload New Panorama button, I want to make sure I'm in the category that I want the panorama to be uploaded to. So right now it's in the I'm in the PIE folder. I want to click on kitchens because I want to put it in the kitchens category. Um, I'm going to hit upload new panorama, give it a title, browse to the folder, and select the image. Go ahead and click open, click OK, and it's going to run through the upload process. And then it's just going to process the image for a second and then it'll appear in our category. And now that it's uploaded, we can view it by clicking View Panorama. That's going to open a new window, and there's our panorama presentation. But I'm just going to flip back. And then pretty much the only other thing you need to know is how to share the panorama. Um, so you can always view your panorama from your account page by clicking the entry. But when you upload an image, it generates a discrete URL that you can copy and paste um, email, post on a website, you know, you can open that in any browser, mobile or desktop, um, and that's going to be the easiest way to share your panoramas. So if I just copy that link, come into a new tab, and open it up, there's our panorama. And before we wrap it up, I'm just going to quickly go through the icons. You've got a full screen icon in the bottom right, an auto rotate function. If you've got it displayed on a monitor and just want it to turn at its own pace. Um, stereoscopic, which is great for Google Cardboard, Oculus Rift, Gear VR, any of the headsets, you're going to want to turn that on. 
And then one other icon that's not showing right now is the gyroscope on off. If you're viewing a panorama on mobile, it's automatically going to use gyroscope input to control the way you look around. So if you turn your phone, it's going to, you know, rotate the view. But sometimes it's easier to just control that with your finger with touch input. So there's a gyroscope on off button on mobile. So that's the Panorama server web platform. Uh, the only other thing we didn't didn't really touch is the account controls are up here in the upper right. Settings, remove account, log out. Um, you can modify any any Panorama entry with these buttons here, remove, rename, or obviously upload a new Panorama. Same with categories, remove and rename. And the last thing you'll notice is this tours tab. Um, this is not an active feature yet. It's in the UI already, but if you click it, it's just going to give you this eternal loading screen. Um, and what that is, is it's going to be a feature that lets you link panoramas together. So if you've got a panorama, say, from the living room of a house, you'll be able to place hot links in that panorama image. And when a user clicks it, you know it'll automatically take them to the next room over or to a different camera. So you click and it takes you to the kitchen and it's going to be a way to create tours through an entire space. So that's it. Um, as you can see, there's not really much to it. All you need to do is create an account, create a category, upload your panorama and share your link and then you're good to go. And as I mentioned before, this whole process can actually be done directly from Podium Image Editor. So you can get your panoramas up onto the server without ever leaving SketchUp. And I actually cover that process in a separate short video. So if you want to see how to upload a panorama image directly from PIE, just click the link below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, and we, we covered that in another separate video, which I will link below. All right. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.